What's going on, everybody? AMF here. And uh, the big one. The big one is two days away. Actually, probably about a day and a half now, but uh, I've been waiting for this one. <coughs> I've been waiting for this one all year. All year. I'm actually not even going to be able to see it because I have to work that day, which sucks. But when I really think about it, I probably don't even need to watch it because the Ducks are probably going to steamroll them so bad that it, it won't even really even be worth watching. I wish, I mean, I'd love to watch the Beavers get the shit kicked out of them because that's always fun. Because, um, I mean, let's 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 think about this here. The Beavers, the past, I mean, like last year, that was a good game because the Beavers were, they were okay. But this year, my God, they are so bad. They just they suck. Like let's 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 think about this. They lost to they lost to Washington State. I mean that that says enough right there. They lost to UCLA, and that's just that's making it worse. I mean, my God, man, that that is unacceptable by all all accounts. Those are both games that the, the Ducks won handily, especially the UCLA one. My Jesus. But, um, yeah, I mean, so, and another thing about it is that the Beavers are missing a key player, you know, they're, James Rogers is, is not going to be playing, obviously he had that injury a, a while back, and that'll make their, their magic fly sweep play pretty much ineffective for the most part, not to mention that Jacquez Rogers isn't really having that stellar of a season, I know he's got, you know, a thousand yards, whoop de doo but he hasn't really had any large breakout games yet that I've seen, I mean, so, I mean, they're, the Beavers are pretty much outclassed in every category, Darren Thomas is a better quarterback than Ryan Katz is, obviously, they have better running backs, I mean, both Kenyon Barner and the Michael James are both better than Jacquez Rogers, that pretty much explains that right there, they have better wide receivers in Jeff Mayo and 2 a and Drew Davis, uh, DJ Davis, and you know, whoever else is there. They just, they have a better offensive line. They have a better defense. I mean, they have excellent run defense, which will pretty much make Jacquez Rogers ineffective, just like last season. Their pass defense, while being a little bit porous at times, I mean, Arizona did light them up pretty bad, I'll admit that one. If, if they can get a decent pass rush on Ryan Katz, it'll frustrate him, and it'll make that a lot easier. You know, and I, I think that Cliff Harris is actually going to come out to play this time because he had a pretty shitty game last week. But I think that he's going to be focused because this is this is the one. If they get this, they're going to go to their first national national championship ever, likely playing against Auburn, and I think they're going to win that one too. But that's not the point. We'll get to that one later. So, but yeah, this is this is a game that you know is always the big one on on the menu. Because it has all sorts of implications. The Beavers need this game just to be bowl eligible for one, and the Ducks need this obviously for uh, for the for the championship. I mean, they'll they'll get to the Rose Bowl if, even if they lose, but that just that would be deemed as unacceptable. It really would be. You know, this this is the season to do it. So let's. Uh, I say that you know they're gonna win this game by at least at least about. 24 points. There is no reason why they should win by less than that, because they really are that good. Once, once, you know, once they smell blood, it's it's all over. You know, the floodgates will open at that point. So I'm gonna predict the score to be 52 to 20. I, you know, it's it's one thing to play a home game at Autzen where the the crowd really is that big of a factor because of how it is, but Reeser Stadium. First of all, Reeser Stadium. Of all sponsors you could get for a stadium, you had to go for Reeser, the brand name for some of the worst macaroni and potato salad ever. My God. But, yeah, that, that place has no intimidation factor whatsoever. I mean, it's like Halloween every fucking week in there. It's same orange, same black, same white, and, yeah, there's just nothing about that screams good place to be. Not to mention that a lot of a lot of them. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of their fans are total douchebags. I mean, my brother went to the game last year, and there were people throwing full beer bottles at him, trying to pick fights. And it wasn't last year; it was actually two years ago. My bad. But I mean, they were throwing beer bottles, they were picking fights, blah 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 blah, because they were getting their ass kicked. 
I mean, come on, have a little bit of class. And they call they call duck fans classless. Ha 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 ha! Funny. But yeah, any actually, I have another thing I want to talk about. Outside of the fact that, you know, the beavers are like the jealous little brother of the ducks. I mean, let's let's be honest. There's it, there's plenty of evidence, you know, making this valid. Let's let's see. Um, what can I think of here? Um, a few years ago, the Ducks changed their logo to just you know the O that you see now, just the the yellow O. Well, about a year after that, the Beavers changed their logo to just an orange O. Kind of not exactly the same shape as the one the Ducks have, but it was the same exact concept. And then they changed it to the the OS that they have now. But that shows one thing that they followed in our steps with. Here's two. Um, the Ducks upgraded their stadium not too long ago. And then the very next year, the Beavers upgrade their stadium. It's like everything that that the Ducks do, they have to do right after. I mean, the Ducks change their, they change their jerseys all the time. But right after they made uh, like their newest style of jerseys, the Beavers went out. And kind of did the same thing that had like the the feathered pattern thing on the shoulders even though that doesn't make any sense the for the ducks it makes sense because you know ducks have you know feathers and wings which would make sense up here but the beavers had some kind of similar sort of thing that doesn't make sense because beavers don't have wings but whatever yeah so it's like whenever the ducks do something new the beavers have to do something new just because they can't think of their own damn thing. Oh, yeah. Remember the time when the Ducks had the, uh, the, uh, Sup With Your Girl? They made that song, you know, and they're actually popular. Well, some Beaver fans had to go out and try to do their own thing like that, and oh, my God, I swear it was the worst thing that I had ever seen in my life. I mean, the first one that, you know, that the Duck fans made, it wasn't the greatest thing ever, but at least it had, like, some production value. Like, I mean, for shit's sakes, at least it actually looked decent. But the one that the Beavers made, I, I was about ready to puke when I watched it, because it was just fucking terrible. I mean, think of your own damn things. Think of your own concepts. Have some originality for once. Ugh. My God. But yeah, once again... My my prediction for this score because it's gonna it's gonna be just an absolute slaughterhouse. I won't even need to watch it. I'll, I'll game cast it while I'm at work, but I, I don't really have any sort of intimidation factor here. I don't see any sort of reasoning why the Ducks are going to lose. They're gonna dominate both sides of the ball as long as they can keep their turnover ratio down a little bit, and as long as there are no key injuries, i.e. Darren Thomas or Michael James, this game is just gonna be a you know a cakewalk. It'll be a you know. It, it should be a game that's just not even close, period. So, 52-20 to 20 is my guess. Jacquez Rogers will do jack shit, just like last time. So, go Ducks. One win away. One win away from the big one. I'll actually have to be taking down that Rose Bowl paper right up there. I'm going to replace it with uh, the National Championship uh, paper once it comes in, since it's going to happen. So, uh, yeah. Go Ducks. Fuck the Beavs. Yes, I've been waiting to say that for so long. So long. Fucking hate those guys. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, LaMichael will have a big enough game, and that might help him along the Heisman Road, but I, I highly doubt it, because the world is pretty much on Cam Newton's ball sack. But, yeah, what do you do? That's the college football world and the SEC. Whatever. So, yeah. See you guys later. It's game time, baby. In a day and a half. So, see you guys later. Bye.